Hi, Steve Blythe from J. Racistine. We're talking about water pressure and your RO membrane. So one of the things that's uh, very variable for you is how much water you get out of the pole based upon the water pressure at your host facility when you don't have a pump built into your system. So uh, what we have here is a uh, fan jet system. Go ahead and hold that up, would you, Jeff? Fan jet system, and when he goes out into some, some neighborhoods, he doesn't like the flow coming out of those fan jets because the water pressure in, in that area is only 30 PSI. So what I'm going to do here is turn up the water pressure. So at about 40, he starts to get enough rinse water on the end of that pole. And anything about, above 40, he really likes the flow coming out of that. But he's run into several neighborhoods down at the beach where he's not getting enough flow. At the same time, he'd like to use his RO system to run two poles. Well, if you're only getting 35 PSI and you can't even run one pole, running two poles on there would be very difficult. So we're going to put it back to 35 PSI and start up the second pole with Sumner here. And we can say two, two poles, not enough flow to really do the work. And this is where an inline pump comes. This particular pump system is a new one from RHG. It's a dual, a dual pump battery based system with a regulator on it that allows you to, pre to pump into your RO system with and as you can see here, take 30, 30, 35 PSI of input water pressure and be able to run two poles off that same RO. So these pump systems are available in 110 as well as this 12 volt system and uh, to make use of your RO system to be able to run two people and uh, work more efficiently.